Hey guys, Mikey Poo here, and as you can see by the title of the video, what's on screen right now, we're back at it again, playing some more Terraria, episode 30 in the Journeys End series, where, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, where we like collecting money from the tax collector, going back home real quick, deleting money, and making jokes that aren't funny. Yep, uh, I got a new idea <laughs> to go to the collax in the tax collector in between every episode, so we could see how much money I've got from being on in between episodes. Anyways, oh my God, has it been a long time? Not for you guys, because you're probably gonna see this like the same week as episode twenty nine. But I recorded episode twenty nine the week. That I recorded episode twenty six, seven, eight, whenever those came out, which I be which was before Christmas, I just didn't upload twenty nine for some reason. So I guess it's gonna be coming out with this episode. I'm probably just gonna do like a Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday. I don't know. You guys will let me know. I'll know when I upload it. But yeah, I haven't recorded since twenty twenty. I know it's been a whole year. So, uh, I've been busy in between episodes. Looks like barely anything, but trust me, it's a lot more than this. I could go into the map and whatever. But, let's start. First things first, three truffle worm. You get the truffle worm in the mushroom box. You could see, ooh, that's a lot of digging right there. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second, because there's a few things we gotta talk about. But as you can see, I've done some mining in the mushroom biome. I also dug a tunnel so I could get to the other mushroom vine quicker. I went back and forth and I got three truffle worms, which is enough to research for duplication. What are the truffle worms used for? We will find out in another episode. I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. But it said 666 bait power, which means it's for fishing. You go to the ocean, you fish with it, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see in a little bit. Anyway, that was the last thing I did. I want to talk about this stuff here. Hercules Beetle, Necromantic Scrolls, the Horseman's Blade, this Raven Staff, um, the Pyrus Scarab we'll talk about, this Spooky Armor, the Scented Candle, and the Witch's Broom. All this stuff. Alright, so first things first, obviously a new mount in place of the Flying Dutchman black spot whatever it's called this is a little bit faster than it i think it's better mobility and the height is different so i can actually fit through three block high spaces with this although it gets a little wacky every now and then anyway how did i get this stuff all this stuff that i want to go over well in the last episode we took on the pumpkin mode. i spent about a week of time going and doing pumpkin moon stuff Alright, if I search up Pumpkin Moon, we got the Pumpkin Scented Candle, the Horseman's Blade, Pumpkin Relic, Pumpkin Trophy. Then if I do Morning Wood, we got the Trophy and the Relic, as you can see, placed down in our new Trophy Room. Yes, I had to expand it another level, because this is not it, because next we got the Frost Legion. I think I'm just going to do that all in between episodes, not even show the beginning of it. I'll, like, screen record one part, chuck it in. Just so you guys could see like one night's worth. And then I'll keep grinding it. I don't know. We'll say that's for another day though. Because yeah. This took a while. If I go to weapons. There are a few weapons we got. Let's see. And so obviously first thing I talked about was this raven staff. Which summons ravens. Look at this. 126 summon damage. Holy crap. Yeah. And I got this new... Spooky armor. We'll go over that in a little bit. Anyway, next thing's next. I'm going to look for the next thing. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, we'll talk about this flying knife in a little bit. And th this frost brand. And there's another... 
and this ice blade. This stuff we'll talk about in a little bit. I'm trying to find all the other stuff I got from the pumpkin moon. Oh, here. The jack-o'-lantern launcher, the candy corn rifle. Right? Those things we got. I don't remember if there were any other weapons. Oh, yeah. So, with that, we got the candy corn and the stakes. Right? The stank launcher, or whatever that is. Anyway, a good amount of weapons. Armor, not too much. The only thing about the armor is the spooky set now if i search up spooky we're gonna go over all this armor in a second because it's kind of overpowered especially with all this stuff the next thing um blocks obviously spooky wood spooky wood works like the other word wood as in you can make armor with it but as you can see this armor is actually worth something <laughs> Because it is post-hard mode, so you'd expect it to be good. I don't think any other tools. No. No tools. Um, Anything in mis miscellaneous? No. No. I don't think so. Anyway, so let's go over the things I have in my inventory first. First things first, crafting. Horseman's Blade is used in crafting the Zenus, which, of course, is our big thing. We got the Short Sword, the Beekeeper. We've got the Seedler. Now we've got the Horseman's Blade. We're close to getting the Terra Blade. We just need a Hero Sword. Then the Influx Waver is going to be from the Martian Madness. These two are from Moon Lord. This and this is all about the other world we made. So, Horseman's Blade, we're not going to use it. It's an interesting weapon, but we don't want it. Next thing's next. We got these two Necromantic Skulls. That, and the Hercules Beetle, which we already had. Hercules Beetle increases damage and knockback. Combined with the Necromantic Skull, makes the Papyrus Scarab, which we already have, set to Menacing, so it increases damage even more. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip that one. Destroyer emblem. I can't put it anywhere else for now. So we're just going to get rid of it. Get out. And uh, what I'm going to then do is come over here, craft up the papyrus scab, and research it, because I actually don't have it researched. So now, before I go over these items, let's talk about this. Spooky Helmet. Increases minion by one. Right? Increases minion damage, all this stuff, too. So, one minion. Three minions. Four minions off of the armor. Right? Plus this is five, six, seven, eight. And I don't know where the ninth one comes from, but I somehow get nine. Watch this. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten would replace one. So, nine of these bad boys. That's right, nine summons that do over a hundred damage each. Right? You can try and count them if you want. Three, six, nine. It's nine. Trust me. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know where the ninth one comes from, like I said. Because this should really only be giving 8. But I'll take it. Because figure 1, 1, 1. And this is 4. Which is 6. I mean 4 and 3 is 7. Plus that would be 8. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh wait no. 8 plus the standard 1. Yeah there we go. There we go. I'm just stupid. There we go. <laughs> anyway. Now we got some other stuff. We've got the uh, the ice blade, the frost brand, which is pretty much an upgraded uh, ice blade, and then the flying kniffy, which is just trash. So three weapons. There's some other stuff too that I got, like ice torches. Like I said, I went through the whole entire snow biome pretty much, as you can see. I went from as far as I could get to, like as you can see here, this goes into the regular biome. 
over here we got regular biome. I could probably like cut through here and whatever. But I use Splunker and Mining Potions in search of one thing. Now, if I were to take these Warding Lightning Boots... Give me a second, go over to the crafting of the guide. If we were to take these Lightning Boots plus the Frost... Uh, plus the Ice Gates equals the Frost Spark Boots. To get the Ice Gates... To get the frost spark boots plus the lava waders makes the terra spark boots. We've already got hellfire tread, so we don't need those. But the terra spark boots we don't have yet, and it combines the lava waders and the frost spark boots, so that it's like the ultimate pair of boots. We need that. Oh, we need that for sure. You could actually see the boots changing. Like if you look right there, you could like see it. Anyway, now how did I get these three items? Chest, chest, hollowed mimic. We're not going to use any of it, but it's there. Now, back, I completely forgot about these two items from the pumpkin moon. So the raven staff I got, again, this was like from weeks ago, so I don't remember <laughs> what dropped what. And then I also got this Dark Harvest. So these two items are both from the Pumpkin Moon. As you can see with the light and now the broom. Yeah. All this stuff is from the Pumpkin Moon. So I've got a few things to talk about. So we already know I got the Truffle Worms, which is for a boss fight. We can obviously go to the dungeon to fight Lunatic Poultice. We could farm at the Hollow and try and get Empress of Light, or we can grind for another item. Now, if I were to search up Glove, Mechanical Glove, although we're probably not going to actually use this, the Mechanical Glove increases melee damage and speed, all this other crap, where's the guide? He's over here. If we chuck this in him, with the magma stone is the fire gauntlet, which makes it so that melee attacks inflict fire damage. So not only can we get the cursed flames effect on all our melee things, we can also get fire. So we could do two different status effects on an enemy, so they could burn over time with cursed flames and fire. I think it's good for damage, but that's me. Um, I don't think there's anything else in my inventory that's different. The only thing is, as you can see, I got the beetle armor here next to the spooky armor because who doesn't like that many summons? It seems to work. Like, if we kill Queen Slime real quick, you guys remember how annoying Queen Slime was. We spent, like, five episodes trying to kill this stupid thing. Queen. Alright. Just summon her real quick. I'm not even going to worry about much. You know what? I will buff just to make it like a little bit more like the old time. Is she coming? Okay, there we go. Look at the health. Look at it go. I mean, not only is this Dark Harvest overpowered, but... These guys just fly and obliterate everything. Of course, I'm still going to take a lot of damage, though, because this boss does way too much damage. But, like, you could also see my minions flying around after him. Or her. Yeah, you better run. Stupid queen slime. Yeah, defeated. Just like that. I didn't even sweat. I used a potion I shouldn't have. And now, ooh. Oh, now I got the... the yeah, I'll, I'll research it. Although I don't need it. What do we get? Nothing good. Okay, get that out of here. Yeah. 
And as you can see, fairly simple. I did not need the buff, probably. Ooh, a megaphone. I don't think I got that yet. No, I don't. Well, I guess there's still another. Let's go home real quick, because I want to take a look at this. Alright, Luke, what's good? Megaphone and Nazar Countercourse Mantra. Nazar. We have. Plus the Megaphone. Not the Mega Shark, the Megaphone. And if we go back over here, get that, delete that, we'll go into here, craft the kind of course mantra, delete it so we could get rid of that, go up here. Because I got rid of my wings, movement is obviously a pain in the butt. Kind of course mantra, armor bracing, bandage, plan, counter course, mantra, blindfold. Let's see, I believe we have the plan and the bandage. Bandage. Blindfold? No, we don't have the blindfold. Okay. Well, now I've got the Canacor's Mantra. Or Mantra, whatever it is. What else was there? Armor racing? I think it was one of the things. It's all under accessories. Eventually, when we get the blindfold, we'll look at it again, right? Because once we get that ink charm, we'll be set. Anyway, that's just that. We're about 16, 7, we're about to hit 17 minutes. And 3, 2, 1, 17 minutes into this episode. And, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. But, yeah, we kind of just went over all the stuff that happened in between episodes. Nothing else to really go over. But as you can see, I was kind of I'll tell you what, pumpkin and stuff, because obviously you gotta wait for nighttime. So, like, I would go fishing, and then I would go and kill at night. And the thing is, when you would come, it would just become like this endless suffering. Jewelfish, that's a good one, I think. Jewel, yeah. Where is it found? Underground and cave. So that means I hop over to the town. Uh, I don't have a single question, but yeah, I would go fishing here. And then I would like to wake up when it was 6 37 and I would get ready to go. And summon them at the hollow. Now, like I said, the Empress of Light would be the next one of the next bosses to do. Now, Lunatic Cultist would lead into Celestial Pillars, and I don't know where they're gonna spawn, so I don't want to do Lunatic Cultist. So I think my best bet would be. To go for Duke Fishlong. Which is over here in the ocean. Now, I don't know how long this fight is going to take, but technically we got like 10 minutes. So, you know what? I've got my buffs. Uh, bewitchment table. Just because, well, I might as well. And Trump and Worm. I'm just gonna take out one, because again, I don't know how this fight is gonna go, whatever. I'm just gonna make sure I'm bewitched so my summons are all good. And as you can see, Fishing Tower is about to be a warning. The second it bubbles. Wait, 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 let me get some hearts. Far. Oh, I don't know why I got there we go. And wire. Grand design. Give me like a stack of wires. Give me some more platforms. 
So bad because we're talking about hearts. And let's go. Alright, first things first, we obviously got to place. Oh, timer. Good job, timer. Timer. Second. I don't think it matters, but we like the quarter second. There we go. Alright, last one.
guys. Yeah, okay. I don't know what happened to my mic halfway through that. I'll have to figure it out. Yeah, my mic is like getting old and bad. But, um, yeah. We almost killed Duke Fishron. So, in between episodes, that's what I'm going to work on. Hopefully, I can get him three times. Give me the beautiful treasure bag so we can open it in between episodes. And we'll go from there. So, I'll see you then.